It'll be the Celtics off the tip. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Al Horford out there with Robert Williams. And it's Smart in at the point. Ever since the back half of last year, Tatum's been on fire. Now, the game has slowed down for him, so he could play faster. But now he's become nearly unstoppable. Brown can't hit. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Tatum from long range. Sinks it from distance. On the catch and shoot, Tatum is a go-to option. It seems like he's always ready to put up a shot. And you know, in the under 25 club, Grant, some observers say they take Tatum over Doncic and others. Well, Tatum's a big guy who's only getting bigger. His defense is almost on par now with his offense, and he has a possible MVP in his future. Just five on the clock. And here's Brown for three, and he's in the books. Now one for two. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the heart. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, well, I can settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Here's Williams. Up and in on the layup. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Outside, Brown. Pass to Conchar. Back to Holiday. Here's Bradley. Williams grabs the board. He creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Back to Conchar. Here's Holiday for three. They get the rebound. Bradley, second shot opportunity. Can't get it to go, making him 0 for 2. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Smart against Holiday. Back to Smart. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Smart's got his second basket. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Here's Conchar. Brown with some nice D. The Celtics with the lead. And here's Smart. Outside Tatum. From outside the arc. Bates Diop with a rebound. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Off the mark and the drought continues. To the middle. Here's Horford. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And a new rookie class to watch here early in the season, Grant. How long should we wait to evaluate a rookie's play? You think? Well, B.A., I think you have to give them a pass their whole first year. It just takes a minute to adjust and acclimate. And a lot depends on the age of the rookie as well. Checked in for Williams. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Pass to Brown. There's the triple. Tice grabs the miss. 
So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Tatum passes to Horford. And Horford powers it home. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Now here's Brown. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. From deep. And there's Warford on the assist from Brown. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. It's Brown on the wing. A shot to stop the drought. Connects from downtown. Brown's got six. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Now here's Tatum. Tice sets a screen. Tatum passes to Tice. No good. Watford hounded by Tatum. Hook loose. Takes the three. Rebound Boston. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Brown. Outside Tatum. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. An ascending superstar. Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. Jason Tatum taking two shots. First one falls. During his rookie year, Jason Tatum battled LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. Tatum's been an impact from the moment he joined the league. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. On target from range. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. Up top, White. Here's Horford, and that one's good. Nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. No question who's in control of the board so far. Pass to Wagner. Celtics foul call. He Smith, he's checked in for Boston. Foul. First team foul. Coming onto the floor for Boston. 1-11 left in the first quarter of the game. He buries it from three. Six points for him. Well, that's a shot he can hit. If you give it to him, you need a little more energy on defense that next trip down. Tatum with it. Fires the three. The rebound by Brissett. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Here's Neesmith. Out to the wing. Pass to Tatum. Down low. Here's Pritchard. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Watford nails it from beyond the arc. 26 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Tatum with it. No good that time. Here's Conchar to the inside. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And now just a five-point Celtic lead. Seen that play develop ahead of time. Hits his man and strides. And so it's Al Horford making things happen for Boston. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We'll be right back after this word. Just tuning in. Second quarter action is where we are. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball constantly in transition. 
on the floor for Boston. Peyton Pritchard is out there with Derek White. Then it's Jalen Brown. Then there's Robert Williams. And it's Tice in at the power forward position. White, he can't get that one to fall. And you talk to anyone about White, Grant, they'll tell you he's best when he's being assertive. I totally agree. I mean, White can be caught standing around when he's not involved. You want him initiating and pick and roll, and he makes pretty good decisions. Now, he may never be a star, but he's going to give you solid minutes. All right, let's get a report from Allie. VA, the Boston Celtics last year had the team's worst win percentage in the last six seasons. The front office admitted, as constituted, they were not a championship caliber team. Now, for this proud franchise, accustomed to competing deep into the playoffs, the question becomes, how do they get back on top? Yeah, that's a big one. Good stuff there, Allie. Thanks. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. Outside Holiday, pass to Brissett, 11 feet out, and too long on the shot. White for three. Tate's Diop with a rebound. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Holiday from long range drains the triple. Holiday's got six here in the quarter. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Outside, Brown. To stop the run, it's good. Jaylen the Brown. defense was certainly a little late in reacting to the step back. Outside, Holiday. The three ball. Fires in the triple. Holiday's got nine points. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Pritchard gets it to go. Pritchard's gone two of four from the field. Pass to Bates Dia. Back to Holiday. Here's the three. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. It's stolen. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. On up the court. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I don't mind that. First I mean, they met ball. him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Well, at the Boston, wing position, Grant, Daniel you were Tice. one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know what? I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick apart defenses at any position, those two are ones that stick out the most. He's off on the first. The Celtics making a switch here. Smart's checked in. Good on the second one. Here's Holiday. 12 points for him. The three is up. Nails it from three. He's got 15. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Brown drives in. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Outside, Brown. Pass to Bates Diop. Soft touch off the glass. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Holiday against Smart. Now here's Williams. Over Holiday. And it comes off the front of the rim. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Let's it go from deep. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. The three-point shot has been his weapon of choice this quarter. Pass to Brown. Smart outside. Tice is screen on Holiday. Here's Smart. Some solid defense from Holiday. Ooh, now 
Wow, seven for nine after that make. After an okay first quarter of shooting, they've really turned it up offensively. I like where they're headed right now. Get ready for the dance squad! Substitution here for Boston. Cornette's checked in for Williams. Horford comes in for Tice. Tatum, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And it's Neesmith in for White. And has possession. Down by 12. Smart outside. Back to Horford. Smart outside. Just five to shoot. With the drive. Ooh, they can't stop the run with that one. Here's Brissett, defended by Smart. To the left wing. Tatum with a steal. Fast break. Here we go. Pass to Smart. Back to Tatum. Now here's Smart. Horford outside. Here's Neesmith. Hey, from beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Wagner. Now here's Brown. Hounded by Tatum. Back to Brown. Shoots over Tatum. Brown can't hit. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. And he makes it. Jason Tatum. Tatum's got seven points. With the skills of a guard, Tatum has the size of a power forward. It makes him so tough to stop inside. Launches a three. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. by oh, yeah. Jason That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Drops in the three. Nine points in the game. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Now smart. Pass to Cornette. Leaps for it. Stepped on the line. Out of bounds there. And that will cost him a possession. Coming out of the floor from Louisville, Trenton Walker. There's 37 seconds left in the first half of this one. 4-3. Sends it home from three-point land. Conchar's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Smart outside to the paint. Here's Horford, and Horford powers it home. Pretty strong and physical that time from Al Horford on the inside. Horford's gone five for five shooting here tonight. Here's Brissett. Three-pointer off the mark. Tatum against Brown. Let's it go. Tatum can't hit. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. That's the and we've reached halftime in this one. Score? They lead by 12. 47. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Howdy, folks. Time for halftime fun. Woohoo! Before we check out the action at hand, first order of business, the power rankings. Well, I think for the whole team, they need to step back and take a look at what's gone wrong. Mistakes have killed them, not just turnovers, but poor decision making. This is a team everyone wants to play right now to get a W. 
And time now to acknowledge what was a tremendous half of play for Louisville. They're running some great offense right now, working the ball in the good spots, taking what the defense gives them, not forcing up shots. We'll see if they can maintain that discipline in the second half. And that'll do it for our halftime show. Let's get you back out to the game. Where's Crafty? Where's my mac and cheese? Right there with you, brother. I need my kale salad, though. Kale salad. Mac and cheese. Veritable twins. I'm opting for the uh, blue cheese lasagna. Ooh, what is that? a very lopsided first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. They've got John Conchar. He's out there with Aaron Holiday. Tony Bradley out there with Bruce Brown. And it's Bates Diop in at the four-man position. Holiday from long range. That shot, no good. And Boston going the other way now. And for the Celtics... Martin Brown, a great defensive backcourt. Al Horford out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Williams in at the center position. Brown. The shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense from Williams. And the emergence of Jalen Brown's ability to take over at the offensive end, Grant. It's been a joy to watch. Jaylen oh, Brown. such a joy. I mean, his Perfect. improvement as a ball handler may be the biggest reason. He can drive the ball either direction now, create the space he needs for his jumper, and he's no longer a turnover waiting to happen. Pass to Conchar. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Boston trailing. And here's Brown for three. And the Celtics Jaylen another Brown. three. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. here in the second half of play. We're just over a minute in. On the wing, Conchar. Back to Holiday. Puts up a three. Conchar, good. Conchar's got six points. Now he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Orford inside. That one, no good. Brown against Horford. Pass to Conchar. Beyond the arc. The rebound, Celtics. Brown's got four rebounds now. He told me this was the kind of game he was going to have. I would not have expected them to be in front right now. Holiday from long range. Rebound Boston. Now here's Brown. He's got 10. Tatum from long range. Knocks down the long J. Three. 10 points for him. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. Back to Holiday. On the wing, Conchar. Pass to Bates Dia from behind the arc. Tatum pulls it in. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Smart outside. Now here's Brown. He's closely guarded. There's the oh, chance. Out of the oh, way. Oh, oh. Wow. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. 
Boston. Now a timeout called by Boston. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Teams will make substitutions. Pass to Pritchard. Inside. Tatum's got room on the money from 12 feet away. Tatum's got 12 points in the game. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Watford. Off target from outside. Left side, Tatum. Shot blocked! And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Personal foul. Jalen Brown picks one up. Shooting for Louisville. Trenton Watford taking two shots. First free throw is good. Cornette's checked in for Tatum. He's perfect from the line this time. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pass to Brown. There's the screen. There's the three. Conchar pulls it in. Down low. From the arc. That shot off. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Here's Pritchard. And here's White. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Brissett. Rebound Boston. Cuts off the pass. Tice grabs the miss. Tice has got four rebounds now. Out inside. Bradley on him. <laughs> so sick. The vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. for Boston. Horford comes in for Cornette, and it's Neesmith in for Jalen Brown. Brown's gone 6 of 7 from the field here, getting just about everything to drop. Watford gets the three ball to go. He's got 10. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. And Pritchard, here we go. The rebound by Brissett. Brissett's got his fourth rebound in this one. 152 left to play in the third quarter here. The 17-footer. That's good on the jumper. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. The coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's White. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Tuesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. Oh, 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes it first. Right hits them both. 133 left in the third quarter. To the paint. Tipped. Warford with a steal. It's a one on one situation. Pass to Tice. It's tipped. Watford. Ooh, poor shot selection there. Not a high percentage look for him. Here's Neesmith. And he drops yeah, it in Neesmith. from the low post. Neesmith's got his second basket on the night. Neesmith's gone two of three from the floor. Drills it from deep. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Horford outside. Launches it. The rebound by Brissett. Brissett's got his fifth rebound in this one. Watford hits a three-pointer. He's got 13. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. White against Holiday. White can't hit. The three is up. Rebound Boston. Wing shot on the way. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. White's got four points now in the quarter. No good on the buzzer beater. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. They're up by 10. And time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. We've got Tony Bradley, and it's Coffey in at the two-guard position. And here's Brown for three. Sinks the tray. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Now here's Smart. He's covered closely. And a missed layup. Boy, we're seeing inspired play out of them. And that's certainly reflected in the score. Knocks down the triple. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Switch, 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 switch. With the floater, Coffey grabs a board. Maybe there are ways to contribute that don't involve shooting the basketball. That's the best way that maybe he can help them out in trying to win this game. Now here's Brown to the middle. Horford with a steal. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Brown. Pass to Smart. It's stolen. Here we go. Bates Diop with the bucket. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Boston on offense. It's an 18-point game. Outside Tatum, looking to win the run. Bradley grabs the board. Bradley's got rebound number eight now. 
Defended by Smart. Pass to Brown. Fires for three. That shot is off. And Boston going the other way now. Brown passes to Horford. And Horford powers it home. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Bradley, high post. The three. Rebound Boston. Horford's got his fifth rebound in this one. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Pass to Coffee. It's Brown on the wing. Here's Coffee, defended by Brown. Six to shoot. Takes a three. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got his sixth rebound on the night. Now Brown. From about 16. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his fourth assist with that last one. Louisville calls timeout. Get ready for the fifth squad. sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks guys. The head coach of the home team had some words for his team over the break. He spoke to his club like they were down in a score. He told them quote we haven't won anything yet. Don't go easy. We've had all the leads like this and we've seen them evaporate quickly. Coach bringing the urgency. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Pass to Conchar. Let's the three fly. And the three-pointer goes. His third triple of the game. A little more success from out there in the second half. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Buries it from three. He's been terrific tonight. And with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Pass to Bates Diop. Shoots over Horford. Bates Diop can't get it to go. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Oh, Tatum slams it home. The speed of Tatum's drive makes it so tough to defend. You just don't get a chance to stop him. Here's Bradley. Williams defending. Counted from distance. The defense had him confused early on, but he's responded in the second half with some assertive play. Brown in the high post. Bradley grabs the board. Bradley's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Bates Dia. And a miss there on the triple. The Celtics on offense. Here's Smart. And a great assist Smart by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got five assists in the game. Defended by Smart. Outside, Brown. Jacks up a three. Two minutes remaining in the game. Rebound, Boston. Horford's got rebound number seven tonight. 
Brown drives in, shoots over Brown, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. The West has the reputation of being more competitive, but the East is only getting stronger, Brent. Which conference do you think right now is tougher? Yeah, I don't mean to upset anybody that lives east of the Mississippi, B.A., but it's the West. I mean, the West has the star power. The West is chock full of incredible teams that have been together for a while and ones that are growing. And if LeBron James is in the West, mm, probably tougher. Now here's Holiday. To the inside. Back to Brown. Pass to Holiday. Back to Brown. Three-pointer. Pure from three-point range. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Here's Bates Diop. Rebounded by the Celtics. This one for three. And again, Boston with the triple. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. Well, he's doing everything he can to make them competitive. And by everything, I mean draining threes. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Tatum passes to Horford. Money! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Teammates love that when Horford is looking to shoot fast. It makes the offense look dangerous. Gets Holiday. Pass to Conchar. Right side Holiday. Back to Conchar. Fires from deep. Gets the three to fall. During this final quarter, he's erupted from outside the heart. Just assume every three he takes now is going in. seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Brown. Bates Diop with a rebound. And so they foul intentionally. Al Horford. First person. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Oh my, oh my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back.
and so they choose to intentionally foul. First personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Louisville. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here, and it's an eight-point ball game. Get ready to make this squad. Tice outside. Pass to Pritchard. Three pointer. It falls. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. That's nice vision there. You see that pass? You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Holiday. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead. And here's Brown for three. Bradley grabs the board. The home crowd treated to a win. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. They're happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Aaron, do efficient scoring games like tonight help build your confidence knowing that you can take over when needed? Um, sure. I'm just out here trying to be aggressive. I know I can get to my shot when I need to and get...